What is going on guys and today we're going to be coding. So particular car is E70 2007. Um, the coding will work with pretty much any BMW, the E series, uh, E90, E60, E70 and so on, E71 uh, and so on. Also we're going to be using NCS Dummy, NCS Expert and Inpa as well as KD CAN cable connected to the computer to the car. Uh, if you want to find out how to install all those apps, all those tools, just simply go um, into the description. I'm going to get you the video. I also have it, how to install all those apps. So uh, with no further ado, let's jump into it. And we're going to do today comfort uh, closing or remote closing windows. Most of the BMWs already have options for pressing and holding the open button for three seconds and the windows go down. Um, so they, they, you can, you're going to be able to open the windows and basically uh, sunroof and stuff like that. But for closing, we don't have that type of option. So to turn on, uh, it's going to be really simple. Uh, we simply go first, uh, connect the cable uh, to the car, start the car, cars 2007 and up, uh, the, the engine can be uh, running and it's not going to harm anything, cars 2006 and below, uh, I would not suggest to do that, even with the 2007 year manufacturing and up, uh, I'm not suggesting you to do the coding while you're working with some like main units as some like transmission engine and stuff like that. So INPA uh, simply showing us the cable text yes and ignition is on. That's all what we need to know. So cable is detected, uh, which is also great. We have to close the INPA because uh, if the INPA is on, none of those apps going to be working properly if we're going to start using them. So let's go ahead and start NCS expert, go straight to the file, load the profile, go to the coding profile and press OK. Pressing the F1 or start, uh, choosing the chassis or F3. For example, if you're driving the E70 or E71, it's going to be the same model. Basically for E90 up to E93, it's going to be E89, which is understandable, I guess. Uh, pressing OK, pressing whatever you want, CAS, FRM, it doesn't matter uh, on that stage. We simply have to get the data from the car, which is successfully FG, which is the VIN number, uh, which is proper one. Uh, after that, it means the app is connected to the laptop or uh, to the car. We simply go in back, uh, which is F6 and uh, start uh, processing ECU. So do not process the car because we have a bunch of modules uh, here and uh, basically the app already got all of them. They read all the modules, how many is there in there. Uh, but if you're going to process the car, something gonna happen like really bad. So <laughs> I never try it, but I wouldn't. And especially the job name is SG Codeirn. Uh, coderin, which is mean uh, the car will start coding. So it will start coding the files which you have under the work in the NCS expert file. And basically it's going to flush the every single module in your car. Don't do that. So we simply go and process ECU, which is F4. Uh, with that being said, we have options, actual modules, which is installed on our car. Uh, also, I'm going to have the list with the modules. For that job, we're going to need to go to the CAS module, which is pressing OK. It's going, it's showing us uh, the actual name, which is uh, CAS 3CO6, which is we're going to need that later on for using the NCS dummy. I'll show you why and pressing OK. CAS 3CO6 actually, uh, E64, we will try to read ECU. With that we have metadata trace file. This is the actual file we're going to be working with. A lot of people showing you how to do it manually. We're going to be doing the difference different in different way in a much easier way you don't have to do deal with any type of choosing like a uh, process or learning coding and stuff like that it's going to be a really simple job simply reading and simply installing or flashing back which is have uh, their own benefits so uh, let's close that 
uh, file. Uh, by the way, now we have the proper uh, unit here, uh, CAS3CO9. Now we simply go into the disk C uh, NCS expert folder under the folder work. We're going to have our trace file, which is here. Let's uh, copy the name. I'll tell you why we copy in the name uh, the net, netadata.man file. Uh, so we need to copy that for future, but uh, basically we also need to copy that with extension. Extension it's man, which is uh, if you don't have it on, you can simply file name extension on uh, the little thing in there or go into the option in the older versions of Windows and you can choose the same option in there. Then uh, we can uh, minimize the NCS expert and simultaneously go into the NCS dummy. So NCS dummy going to have a module here. We, we basically choosing the chassis, which is apparently E7071, E72. Also, it's showing you what, uh, my, I mean, uh, basically cars is supported. E81, 82, 84, all the way up to E93, uh, but apparently we are driving E70, so we're choosing that. Then we're choosing our module, which is going to be CAS 3 CO9, which is going to get our presets and translations for some of the meanings in there. And now we simply, if we wanted to do any type of changes, we go into the metadata trace file. We can use also the FSW PSW trace file, but I find myself like easier to use metadata trace file. I don't know why, but I'm just doing it this way. So we open it up and now we have every single options with basically car have. So straight go into the locking monster. No, it has all coloring. It's really easy to navigate. Um, and we got to the power windows master basically. Our option is already on, so I already turned it on, but uh, we'll go through the procedure. So here we have, we're going to have one of those options here, Nicked Active, Comfort Closing Windows Remote Control, which is going to be like that. And you simply change to the active, basically change only one option here. And now you're going to be able to press the central lock button while the windows is open hold it for three seconds and the actual window is going to roll back so that's going to be really easy i mean way to fix that so uh, the next step is going to be exporting to metadata trace uh, man file actually so simply uh, hit the export and we have to have export metadata trace to metadata man file which is going to be saved into the same work folder which is right here. And as you can see, the modification were uh, it's 711 and now it's 711. So we are good. From now on, we can shut down the NCS uh, dummy and go back to the NCS expert. With that, we simply go to the basic function, press in uh, basic function, copy code HG by metadata. Uh, with that, we simply can code our uh, man file. As you can see, uh, our uh, module name and metadata man file. We copied the name earlier and we paste it here and press an OK. And waiting and basic function perfect ended means we actually succeed. I'm going to be using the laptop as my camera. So now we simply stop in the car. Turning off, removing the OBD, placing it, and we try to get our window in there. So we got our remote. I have my second hand here. You press and hold it so you can see the windows got rolled down. And then press the central button and holding it, my hand is here. And voila, that was so easy. So the next video is going to be about mirrors. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same easy way to deal with that. But we're going to go under the different module. And uh, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. So the video in description below is going to be for installing the apps, 
for the mirrors and for the speedometer, for the digital speedometer, which is also a pretty cool feature. I got my cable ready with the switch. Unfortunately for that car, switch doesn't do anything. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below and I'll see you next.